All right, so you've recorded your piano chords in, and next up, we're going to try and record in a percussion line that's going to fit with this. So this is what the piano part sounds like so far. Okay, so what we're going to do is add in a drum line now, okay? So we're going to click on this Add button here. We're going to select a software instrument and press Create. Once you've done that, the instrument drawer will come up here. You can see this is what you do to open up this drawer, this library. Now, if we go up to different parts, you can find different... Uh, if we go up here for drums, we can find different drums. Now, you might have percussion. You might want to try the Latin kit. That's not a preset for me, so that's not working for me. I'm going to be trying just a basic drum kit here, okay? Now, you can pick any of these. We're not going for electronic drums because we want our drums to sound real. So you can just pick any of these... Uh, these uh, drum kits. I'm going to go for a Motown Revisited. I'm going to close this so we can see the screen. We don't need this right now, so we can close that. If you press Command K on your keyboard, this piano typing, musical typing keyboard comes up. Now to get the drum sounds we need, we need the octave to be set to C1. Now you can go up and down the octave like this. You can also go on the Z and the X key on your the QWERTY keyboard in front of you and you can select what octave you want. We want C1. We want that sound for a kick drum. We want that sound for our snare. And we want a hi-hat. Now there's lots of different sounds as well. Now we can add these things in as we go, but to begin with, we're just gonna do a basic uh, standard Western kind of rock beat. Now you don't have to play that all at the same time like me. You can program it in one section by section, okay? So we're gonna try and record in the kick to start with. We want this on every beat, every crotchet, so that it keeps our piece together. So we're gonna keep the metronome on. We're gonna turn this, um, this loop off. We're gonna press return to go to the beginning of the piece. And we're gonna try and record in just a steady beat, okay? That's all we need because what we're going to do is now edit this and um, copy it. Okay, so we're going to close that for the moment. We're going to open this up. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that my notes aren't exactly on the beat. They're generally slightly early. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this time quantize feature. And this is going to help us move these notes in time. I'm going to go for an eighth, see if the notes move. Yep, there they go. So now we've got this in place, we've got different ways we can loop this, okay? So we can just do that. If you go to the top of it, you can just drag and that will move it. You can ho also hold down Option, which I prefer to do, and drag, which then means that we can vary it and develop it as we go. Let's listen back to that. Okay, so that sounds in time. Now I want to create a new track for this. If you hold down Option and drag this, it will just duplicate the track. Option and drag. Now we don't want these drums because we've already recorded them. So I'm going to keep that track but delete what we've done. I'm going to press Command K. And I'm going to now try and add in a snare on the off beats of this, okay? So something like this. You might want to add occasionally a double one. Okay, so let's record. When you've had a practice, press record. So you can see that there was a bit of a lag there, so I've played very out of time. Instead of re-recording, we could record again. What I'm going to try and do is edit this. So if you've played a note wrong, I've just quantized it for an eighth. We're going to just put on a loop and see how that sounds. Sounds fine to me. Okay, so we're going to hold down Option and drag again. So now we've got that. We're going to do this, copy this down one more time. And this time we're going to try and do a, a hi-hat pattern. So we're going to delete that. We're going to press Command K. And now we're going to play on the T. Something like this. OK, 
again it's lagging slightly so it's hard to play in time but we're going to try and record that in well that's made it very difficult which is actually quite a um a good a good accident to have because i'm going to show you a different way that we can record this in we don't need to play it what we can do is make sure that note is on the first beat and you can just hold down option and just copy these notes hold down option again drag them select hold down option drag them hold down uh, select hold down option on your keyboard and drag so let's listen back to that see what it sounds like okay so now if we're happy with that we can hold down option again and drag this basically option or alt on the old keyboards is a way of copying a part now you can see i didn't hold down option the whole time so it just dragged it it didn't copy it hold down option make sure options held down the whole time until it's been moved so all together this is what it sounds like so far Okay, so that is our three different new lines for the drums. First line, kick drum. Second line, snare drum. Third line, hi-hat drum. Put together with our three chord pattern on the piano.